Have you ever wondered what caused the mass extinctions in Earth's history? Let's begin our journey with the end Ordovician extinction, around 445 million years ago. Imagine a time when Earth was basking in a hothouse climate. Sea levels were at their zenith, nurturing an abundance of marine life. The Ordovician period was a time of flourishing biodiversity, a marine paradise teeming with species like trilobites, brachiopods, and many more creatures that thrived in the shallow seas. But as we well know, paradises are often fleeting. The Earth, in its constant dance of change, began a series of glaciations. These were not your everyday winter snowfalls. No, these were colossal ice formations that rapidly cooled the planet. Glaciers expanded, becoming icy behemoths that locked up vast amounts of water. The result? A drastic drop in sea levels. This wasn't a slow, gradual change, it was abrupt, sudden. Imagine the shock to the marine ecosystems. The shallow sea creatures, once basking in warm high seas, now faced shrinking habitats and plummeting temperatures. The world they knew was rapidly turning into a cold, inhospitable place. The repercussions were devastating. The sudden environmental shift led to the extinction of approximately 85% of marine species. Trilobites, brachiopods, and countless other organisms reliant on shallow seas vanished from the face of the Earth. The marine paradise of the Ordovician period was no more. The end Ordovician extinction serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of life in the face of drastic environmental changes. The Earth's climate always in flux can trigger catastrophic events that reshape the course of life's evolution. In this case, the sudden shift from a hothouse climate to an ice age led to one of the most significant mass extinctions in Earth's history. This abrupt environmental change led to the extinction of approximately 85% of marine species, a catastrophic event that set the stage for the next extinction. Moving forward in time, let's explore the late Devonian extinction that occurred around 375 million years ago. The late Devonian period was a time of lush forests and teeming seas, a world brimming with life. The Earth was a vibrant tableau of biodiversity, where every niche was filled with a unique form of life. The seas of the late Devonian were a spectacle to behold, they were filled with a colorful and diverse array of marine life. But beneath this seeming tranquility, a series of environmental stressors were already at work, setting the stage for one of the most significant extinction events in Earth's history. The first of these stressors was widespread volcanic activity. As volcanoes erupted they spewed massive amounts of ash and toxic gases into the atmosphere. The fallout from these eruptions not only altered the climate but also led to significant changes in the chemical composition of the oceans. Adding to this, oceanic anoxia, a state of depleted oxygen in the water, began to take hold. This decline in oxygen availability was catastrophic for marine organisms. Those living in shallow coastal waters which relied heavily on oxygen for survival were hit the hardest. Fluctuations in sea levels further exacerbated the situation. These changes in sea levels driven by the shifting of tectonic plates and changes in climate, disrupted established ecosystems making survival even more challenging for many species. The combination of these environmental stressors led to a decline in oxygen levels, creating a hostile environment for marine life. The result was a mass extinction event that saw the demise of approximately 70% of all species. Among the casualties were the placoderms, the dominant predators of the time. These armored fish which once ruled the seas were wiped out, unable to adapt to the rapidly changing conditions. The late Devonian extinction was a stark reminder of how quickly life can be snuffed out when the delicate balance of nature is disturbed. It was a period of profound change that forever altered the course of evolution on Earth. The late Devonian extinction saw the demise of dominant predators like the placoderms, changing the face of Earth's ecosystems. Next we arrive at the most devastating mass extinction event in Earth's history, the end Permian extinction, also known as the Great Dying. This cataclysmic event occurred around 252 million years ago, and its impact was nothing less than apocalyptic. The stage for this mass extinction was set by a series of colossal volcanic eruptions in what is now Siberia. These eruptions formed the Siberian Traps, a vast region of volcanic rock known for its steppe-like hills. The magnitude of these eruptions was unimaginable, with vast amounts of lava and greenhouse gases being released into the atmosphere. This led to a catastrophic global warming event, drastically altering the Earth's climate. But the climate shift was not the only disastrous consequence, the volcanism also caused severe ocean acidification. The oceans, once teeming with life, became acidic death traps. Marine life, 
unable to adapt to these rapidly changing conditions, began dying out en masse. The fallout was nothing short of devastating. Over 90% of marine species became extinct, a loss of biodiversity so severe that it's hard to fully comprehend. The oceans, once a vibrant underwater world, were left almost barren. But the great dying didn't stop at the oceans. It reached deep into the heart of terrestrial ecosystems as well. Approximately 70% of terrestrial vertebrates were wiped out. Iconic groups such as the trilobites, ancient marine arthropods that had survived multiple mass extinctions, finally met their end. Our journey continues with the Triassic-Jurassic extinction event around 201 million years ago. A time when the Earth was once again on the brink of a catastrophic shift, as the quiet hum of life was about to be drowned out by the deafening roar of volcanic eruptions. Picture this, the Central Atlantic Magmatic Province, a vast expanse of land, erupting with colossal force. These eruptions were not a one-time event but a relentless outpouring of lava and greenhouse gases that lasted for thousands of years. This was not just a display of Earth's fiery temper, but a cataclysm that would alter the course of life on our planet. The impact of these eruptions was far-reaching. The atmosphere, once a protective blanket for life on Earth, was now saturated with deadly gases, transforming into a heat-trapping greenhouse. The climate underwent rapid change, with temperatures soaring to levels unbearable for many species. But the devastation was not confined to land. The oceans, those vast cradles of life, also felt the fury of this event. The increased atmospheric heat led to the warming of ocean waters, creating dead zones devoid of oxygen, a condition known as oceanic anoxia. This lethal combination led to a significant loss of marine habitats and the extinction of a variety of marine species. On land, the environmental upheaval led to widespread habitat loss. The lush green forests and the diverse ecosystems of the Triassic period were wiped out, leading to the extinction of approximately 70% of terrestrial and marine species. Iconic groups such as the large amphibians and mammal-like reptiles known as therapsids were among the casualties of this event. But with every ending comes a new beginning. The Triassic-Jurassic extinction while a time of great loss was also a time of opportunity. The demise of the dominant species of the Triassic period left vacant ecological niches, paving the way for a new era of rulers, the dinosaurs. The Triassic-Jurassic extinction paved the way for the rise of the dinosaurs, marking a pivotal moment in Earth's history. As the dust settled and life began anew, the Jurassic period dawned, and with it, the age of dinosaurs had begun. Finally, we arrive at the most famous mass extinction event, the Cretaceous-Paleogene extinction, around 66 million years ago. This marked the end of an era, the Cretaceous period, and the beginning of a new one, the Paleogene period, Hence the name Cretaceous-Paleogene Extinction, often abbreviated as KPG Extinction. The primary culprit behind this cataclysmic event was a massive asteroid about 6 miles in diameter that hurtled through space and collided with Earth. The impact site, located in what we now call the Yucatan Peninsula, is known today as the Chicxulub Crater. The sheer force of this collision was equivalent to billions of atomic bombs, triggering a catastrophic chain of events that would forever alter the course of life on Earth. This colossal impact set off enormous firestorms, devastating earthquakes and tsunamis of unimaginable scale. But the destruction didn't stop there. The asteroid's impact also catapulted an enormous amount of dust and debris into the atmosphere, darkening skies worldwide. This sudden atmospheric change blocked out sunlight, leading to a dramatic drop in temperatures and disrupting photosynthesis, the very process that plants and some other organisms rely on to convert light energy into chemical energy. With sunlight blocked, plants started to die, disrupting food chains from the bottom up. Herbivores lost their food source, and in turn, carnivores lost theirs. This rapid ecological collapse led to the extinction of approximately 75% of all species on Earth. The most iconic casualties of this extinction event were the non-avian dinosaurs. These magnificent creatures, which had ruled the planet for over 160 million years, were wiped out. Other groups, such as marine reptiles, ammonites and pterosaurs, also met their end. The Cretaceous-Paleogene extinction marked the end of the dinosaurs and a dramatic shift in Earth's ecosystems, setting the stage for the rise of mammals and the world as we know it today.